Thanks very much for hearing me on board. Thank you, Senators, for providing me this opportunity for public testimony of the massive changes that highways and transportation. Hey, Dr. Just put that on transportation. Is that better? Thank you, Senators. Can you hear me? If we could have someone with technical assistance on a microphone. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? The, the Okay. Thank you, Senators, for providing this opportunity for public. You just got to speak up, Doctor. Thank you, Senators, for providing this opportunity for public testimony related to this massive change in the state's highways and transportation policies. These changes are of enormous consequence and could devastate much of our state. Many Senators and Representatives have introduced legislation in this session that can move the state in the right direction. To meet, the, to meet the citizens' needs for transportation for the foreseeable future. More than 35 bills and resolutions related to transportation issues have been introduced this session. They warrant your attention and thorough assay before anything we take the place. Pardon, pardon me, just one second. Let me ask my staff to bring somebody in with tech, technical expertise to get this problem fixed. Please proceed. It is incumbent upon you as our representatives to introduce other legislation That's and, still really bad. and proposed constitutional amendments to accomplish what needs to be done to get us back on track. This is a critical time in Texas. Please repeal legislation that allows for the Trans-Texas Corridor. This corridor will devastate more than a million acres of prime Texas land, wreak havoc on the environment, displace many people from their homes, businesses, and farms, destroy towns, communities, block efficiency, for emergency services and pose a major threat to national security and leave the Texas highway system in shambles. Please eliminate legislation that allows governmental entities to take private homes, businesses, and land through eminent domain. Then turn it over to private individuals, private companies, individuals, or private entities for monetary gain. Is this governor really representing Texas? Is TxDOT representing what Texans want? Please enact leg legislation to cause the head of the Texas Department of Transportation to be in an elected position, not a political appointment of the governor. The person in charge clearly needs to be accountable to all the citizens of Texas. Are Mr. Williamson, Texas, and his representatives mere puppets of carry? Why do they feel they do not have to answer the people's representatives? Indeed, you, Senator Corona. <coughs> I want to speak to the earlier gentleman's comments about uh, historical sites. My grandfather came here, bought land that we've worked for years. And our land will not be bulldozed or paved by the Trans Texas Corridor, but others will. And I've got out there and I've worked. I worked for cattle, I've done things like that. My grandfather built, bought that land, and he worked that land. He put himself through law school. Part time, he went <coughs> law school, teach again, he graduated. He put his brother through law school also. Thank you for your testimony, Doctor. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much. It's our land, we understand. Thank you. Thank you.